Okay, baby, I need you to take your pants off. Just bend, bend the veil. Yeah, no, you don't need anything else. Just, just bend, yeah. Yeah, sharp, just sit there, sit there. All right, you ready? Tonight I'm going to dance for you. Whoa, whoa, tonight to dance for you. Whoa, whoa, tonight I'm going to put my body on your body. gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice, use it, don't use it, it's completely up to you. Now in today's video we have a question from someone who has been in a relationship for a little while and wants to know what can I do outside of the bedroom to build this relationship a little bit more? What can I do to spice things up without having to get naked? Okay, I know. The bedroom, it gets hot, it gets steamy, it gets nice, it gets lovely, right? But there are other things that you can do outside of the relationship to continue to build it. How do you put in more action? How do you stoke the relationship? How do you give it more bounce, some of the, the room, without having to take your panties off? There are things that you can do to make the relationship seem stronger, seem better, give it a bit of a vibe without having to get down and dirty. Now, today I'm going to share with you the 10 things that I do for my man that I know he loves it when I do these things. I swear, if I can do all 10, thing of, 10 of these things in a week, he'll give me his credit card and go say, spend, darling, spend. I love you, spend. Now, if you have a question that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram and look for this picture right here and let me know what scenario or question would you like to chat about in the next video. And if it's spicy and if it's juicy and if it's something that we definitely have to talk about, then we definitely will create a video about it. Now, let's get into today's topic. Now, this goes out to all miss. No, he needs to do that for me first before I do something for him. No, honey. It doesn't always work like that. I personally believe that in a relationship, it is completely okay to go the extra mile. For a period of time, if you're the one going the extra mile, your man will catch up with you. It's okay. It's not a competition and it doesn't mean that if I'm doing extra, he must do extra all the time. There'll be seasons for that. It's nice to go the extra mile for your man, right? Go the extra mile outside of the bed and look what he does for you in the bed. Now me and my man, same love language. It's really weird. Different types of people same love language we were actually really surprised acts of kindness words of affirmation we love those things we meet on that type of thing but here's the thing i like doing things for him and he likes receiving things from me so it works really well so here's a list of 10 things that i do for my man that i know he loves it when i do this i make his day when i do this if i do this for him and he leaves the house he's gonna come back having made 10 times more money than he would have if i did nothing number one is a head massage it is very easy to give a head massage your man gets up he showers he gets dressed and then when he sits down just get there just start rubbing especially if they're bold when they have hair whatever it is just i'm telling you it is a head massage and an orgasm same level just and give it some Knead it like dough, knead the head like dough. You know you're kneading dough, just increase the pressure, use your thumb, you know. Have you ever given yourself a head massage? You'll just be there like, mm. oh, yes. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now reverse that. Imagine if you did that for your man. Now the first time I did that for him, he was just like, what just happened? It feels like somebody just gave you a vitamin shot. Like somebody just, you know, Popeye when he gets his spinach. That's literally what happens with a head massage. Just get there, out of nowhere. Don't, it can be in the middle of the night, it could be work, whatever it is. Just, just, just stand there. I promise you, 10 out of 10, every time. He feels like Superman, he'll love you. Number two, is a bath now i don't care how macho your man is i don't you know men always are just like i don't do that stuff i'd rather shower a bath is a waste of time don't let him lie to you set the cat i don't care how 
butch or how macho or how not of or how much of a man's man your man is he could be a calling black label man i'm telling you set him up a bath the same bath you want the one that you see on pinterest and you're just like ah, self love sunday with a bottle of wine and you no the same thing candles bubble bath oils and just put him inside sometimes you need to ease him into it right just say come join me and then he's going to feel horror. no man it's nice in here you know then the next time pour it for him again just say love i poured you a bath and even if he argues about it just say come man just try it just hurry just let's just go you know what do you have to lose if it doesn't work you just reverse it on him like i did this for you come on please don't let me waste my efforts just pour him a bath ha <laughs> The relaxation that will come from that. If you have an angry man, he will come out smooth. I promise you. Just do it. Number three is gourmet food. Now my man always com he, he complains. He's like, you don't have to do all of this stuff to the food. It's a sandwich. It doesn't need garnish. It does need garnish. Because I tell you now, what happens with food is that you cook food, you put it on a plate, starch, meat, veg, three little squares every day monday to friday it gets boring but just you know just some cheese maybe sprinkle get yourself some parsley get yourself a little leaf that you just every now and again just make that meal where you don't just put the gravy in jay you put the gravy like this you know gourmet your food presentation is everything just once a week if you just switch it up right it could be up that means livoros but you could just decide, Hora, I'm just going to shape the pap like this and then I'm going to put the vors like this and then drizzle the tomato gravy like this. The extra effort into that, he'll miss it. He may say whatever he wants to say, but him seeing the extra effort that you're putting into that. Guys, this is mine. These mind games work. Don't, don't shoot it down until you try it. I pr just... Just try it. Just try it. Number four is a surprise coffee. My man loves coffee. He loves his coffee, right? He likes it to be made in a specific way. He's very particular about his coffee. He's a coffee connoisseur, right? He'll ask for a cup of coffee. You go make it. It's normal. Or your man might be a tea person. He'll ask for the cup of tea. You go make it. Sometimes, just pop it up on him. Just on a tray with the spoons laid out nicely all the you know all the cups lined up in the same order you know all the handles do it google how you're supposed to do it or maybe go into pinterest and look for some coffee inspiration and make sure it's a nice one put in some cinnamon maybe a dash of honey whatever it is that you want to do spring up a special coffee on him now and again just baby ta. remember you are doing this without wanting anything in return this is just baby ta. Yeah, baby here's this for you no don't worry it's just mind games and i i promise you guys just do it just do it number five guess him up just give your give your man some confidence just when he gets up in the in the middle of the morning and he's dressed up and you just say mm, you look good today yo my love oh why don't you tell me you know Hmm, there's something about your skin today. It's just glowing. You just look like you're powerful. You know, there's something about that look. You look, you know, you've got this energy today. Yo, I love it. Oh, my love. Hmm. When you come back, me and you, ne? Just gas him up. Just compliment him. Just make him feel good about himself. Tell him, Hore, ooh, love. And those jeans. Yeah, no. Hmm. They were made for you. They were really made for you. Flirt with your man. Gas him up. Give him that. Just stroke that ego. Just rub it. Just like a like a cat. Just oh baby. You look so good today. Hmm. Yo, you really combed that beard today, hey? Mm, no, hey, that's a professional beard. Ah, that beard looks good. Hey, the best beard. The best beard. Best. There's no other beard that looks like yours. It's the best beard I've ever seen. Yo, and it looks so good on you, that beard. Yo. Damn it just guess him up look when your man feels good the house is a different environment just do it you know we're always waiting to receive just don't even look i know sometimes we'll catch him off guard but he'll feel so good about himself 
He even look at himself in the mirror and say, but I do look good. Number six is something that I do on purpose sometimes, and sometimes I'm just that way, but he says I'm an extra light in the house. Sometimes you can tell when the mood is a bit, hmm, right? There are certain things in a man's life that can really bring down his mood. Be the extra light in his life. Don't force the light on him. Just go around the house. Ta -da -dee. Na -na 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 -na. Yes, yes. yes. Na -na. Just be the extra light in the house. Be happy. Irrespective of whatever situation you guys are going through, just tell yourself that, you know what? Today the mood in the house is a bit low. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be happy. I'm going to put on some of my praise music and make sure I'm happy. I'm going to make sure the house is spotless. Make sure that I am the light in the house. I'm going to be his sunshine when the clouds are gray. Just for that day, just bring up the mood. If he's in a bad one and you can't shake him out of the mood, let let yourself be the mood let you be the example set the mood in the house be the one who is vibrant women can do that men can't do it just as well as women can but we can just decide to switch it up and all of a sudden we are as bright as day we are the sunshine in their lives just do it switch up the mood you have the ability to do that and do it for him even if you guys have just had an argument and it's a bit awkward you've resolved it but it's a bit awkward jump up and be the mood set the mood be the light in his life. Number seven is praying. Women do tend to pray more than men do, right? Even though men are the ones who lead in faith in the house. But when it comes to prayer, he loves it when he sees me praying or knows that I have been praying or speak about prayer in conversation. Or when I speak about faith, being the example of the relationship that we should have with our Lord and Savior, right? So being that example, will also light him up. He really loves that. Knowing that, yo, my wife is really in it with God. Let me fix my relationship or get back on that or get onto my devotionals. Being the example really does make your man feel like this is a good one. I married a Proverbs 31 woman. That's what he wants. He wants to be able to brag about it and be like, my woman does this. <laughs> you don't know. Number eight. I feel like I mention this all the time, but there are multiple purposes for this one thing. Look, you've got to strategize as a woman. You've got to multitask. Cake Friday. The reason why my man loves Cake Friday is that he's the one who introduced me to loving cake, right? But since I started baking the cake and putting in the effort into the cake, he's been really, really happy about that, right? Being the one to lead in a tradition. Men would love to lead on things. They lead on Valentine's Day. They lead on birthdays. They lead on everything else. But if you set a tradition and you're the lead on it, you're the one being creative about it, you're the one creating a nice environment for the two of you, that's what will make him happy. So even if, let's just say, you guys have a once a week date night, if you're the one taking the lead on a special activity every month or being creative about something new that you guys can do or setting a tradition in the house, then that will make him happy as well. You know, going the extra mile. This is all about that extra mile that you can put in just to spice up the relationship. Number nine. Now, I don't know why men like doing this thing. They act like they don't care about self-care, but they really do. You go out to go buy yourself your facial stuff and then you add something new, like a new serum. And then you'll get home and he'll be like, what is this? What does it do? And then next thing you find that he's putting it on and he's putting it on wrong because he hasn't even asked you about it. Men do that all the time. I've seen this happen with my dad, with my brother, with my cousins, with my husband. I'll go buy something new and he'll be like, what's this? What does it do? Okay. So how much do you put on? When do you put it on? And then next thing you just see him, him, it's running out quickly and you ask yourself, why is it running out? He's like, no, I'm using it. Men like these things, right? I receive quite a bit of natural hair stuff. My man conditions, deep conditions his hair and his beard <laughs> because he just likes things. Men like things. When it comes to self-care, it's because they don't always, not all men are metrosexual men, so they won't go out and do the lead on it. But if it's in the house, they'll use it. If there is a serum and he's never used the serum before, he's going to use it. If there's an exfoliator and he's never used an exfoliator before, all of a sudden this man now, he's washing his face, exfoliating his face three times a week. He puts on a serum. He has his night cream. He washes his face before he goes to sleep, just like you do. And when you met the man, all he did was soap and cream. But all of a sudden now he's got a five-step facial routine. Guys, <laughs> I'm just warning you. Men love this stuff. Now, one thing that my man really likes is this. Now, when I told him about the Nimue Sun C 
this is a SPF 50. I told him, okay guys, husband, do you know that your computer screen, right? It's also blasting the light that your face shouldn't receive, right? We only care about the UV rays that come from the sun, but we also need to wear SPF for our faces because of this, the computer screens and because of our cell phone screens. And this is the plug for today's video. Get yourself an SPF that protects you not only from the sun, but also protects you from the lights that are in your house, from the lights that are coming from your phone, from the lights that are coming from your computer screen because they affect your skin as well. And that's why I love this. This is SPF 50. It is for UVB, infrared, blue light, and for pollution. All of those things your skin are protected against. And I really love this. I've been using Nimue for more than about two months now. And my skin is loving it. And I know when my man has been using it because he comes out and he's still got a bit of white from the SPF and I've still got to rub it into his beard. Don't be fooled. Men love self-care. And if you can introduce them to something new, do it. Just make sure you buy enough for the both of you. <laughs> Number 10 is something that is a bit surprising. But saying no. Men actually like it when you say no. Say yes to a lot of things, but saying no adds a bit of spice into the relationship. Can you imagine if somebody was with you and all they did was say yes to everything you want? There's no nice fun arguments. There's nobody instigating anything. There's no one causing a little bit of, you know, different opinions, bringing in a different side of things. And that's what you need because a woman helps a man to see a different perspective that she hasn't been seeing before. So when you are there to try and say, no, maybe let's try do that. You literally give him a new perspective and he's just like, oh, I didn't think of it that way. So learn to say no, my honey. And it's nice and it's fine. Sometimes just say no, just because like, he'll be like, come over here, baby. Come sit on my lap and I'll be like, no. Number 11 is the big one combing his hair and his beard there's something about men's beards if your man has a beard just try this just run your fingers through the beard pull on the hairs just literally pull on the hairs pull pull and twist you think it's weird but do it just pull pull here on the edges pull pinch pull twist it's nice i don't know what it is <laughs> but he loves it it's even better than the head massage so he loves it when i give him a nice comb of the beard moisturize it literally taking some moisturizing butter some of my favorite natural hair products have got some nice butters try a thick one a nice thick one that helps the beard to sit flat you know sometimes black guys don't comb their beards but if a man just sees it when you comb your beard first ne, with a thick with a white tooth comb and then afterwards with a brush it sits in a different way he'll look at himself and be like this what i did not know that i had the chisel literally like comb the beard comb the hair men are able to comb their own hair and their own beard but if you were to do it for him it gives it a different look and then he will look at himself in the mirror and for some reason he'll just feel more handsome you'll look into the mirror and say i did not know i was this beautiful i promise you just do it look these are a list of things that i know my man loves it when i do these things i don't do it all the time there are things that are special. So I'll spring up a head massage on him now and then. I'll spring up a beard massage here and there. Maybe I'll even whip out the oils and be serious about it. Or when you're watching TV, just play with his beard. Those are just special things that I do every now and again. Just to give my, my man just that extra confidence, you know. Just to make him feel like he's walking around with a six pack and big shoulders. I promise you. These are the things that just stroke your man's ego, make him build him up, you know. You don't want to emasculate your man. These are the things that help him feel like get help. I promise you, these things work, right? And don't worry about reciprocation because it will come in the relationship. Don't say, hey, I've massaged your head, now massage my feet. That's not how it works. Do it without wanting anything in return, without the expectation of giving anything in return. It makes you feel good as a woman. And if you want him to do something for you or spoil you in different ways, tell him how you want to be spoiled, but don't expect anything in return. These are just things that you, the extra things that you do for your man. And if ever there was a day that your man is angry with you or he's thinking to himself, oh, this woman, trust me, all of those extra nice little things that you do for him without him even asking, those are the things that will make him know that he's got the best wife in the world and there's no one who could replace her. 
Now growing up, I wasn't very confident. There were many opportunities that just swept right by me because I didn't have the courage or the confidence to stand up and go and get them. Now confidence can be a big barrier to you experiencing life the way it should be. Confidence can be the barrier between you acting on your dreams and being the person that you want to be. That doesn't have to be the case anymore. You can build and grow your confidence. Now head over to kopanashimange.com to download my new ebook, which is the seven hacks of building your confidence. Get the affirmations, get the tips and the tricks for you to start building your confidence today. The ebook is completely free. All you have to do is head over to my website and sign up.